So here we are climbing out of uh, Lanarka, Cyprus. Right about here in the world. And uh, what we're curious about today is uh, I noticed the standby uh, airspeed indicator goes way faster than what the fastest speed should be. I, I'm not quite sure where this thing tops out, but somewhere around 145, 150 knots, it starts to want to roll over. So everything, this whole 100 knot range here at the end, is the danger zone. Uh, and I'm just wondering if you can get it that fast and actually recover. Like, is there any point in having a gauge where you can never, where you're going to die if it goes <laughs> past a certain number? Why even tell you? So, we're just climbing like a mofo here, getting a bit of altitude. Hey, where's my... where'd Barrow go? What's going on? Barometric, 2,600 feet. want a bit more altitude than this. We want to probably about 6,000 at least. Because we're going to dive straight from the ground. If I try and go fast, straight and level, well maybe we'll try that first. We'll see how fast we can get it. And then uh, see if the retreating blade stall doesn't flip us over. And this thing's pretty tolerant to uh, rolling over so we can probably recover from that. And then if that works, we'll climb back up and we'll try uh, a dive straight down. In which case, retreating blade stall shouldn't really matter because the blades are unloaded. So maybe we can actually get it up to uh, 250. And we'll, uh, we'll see what the HUD says as well. It says uh, right now it's 35 knots. Keep climbing. I wish it would show my barometric alt on the uh, right side there. Is there a mode I'm missing? Oh, there we go. That's better. But then I lose my velocity. Bit. Or do I? Where did the velocity vector go? Do I even have one? Am I aligned? Is that the issue? Yeah, we're starting to top out there. Oh, and hover as well. Lost all our airspeed and we're just floating here in the sky. Pull some more guts out of it. 100% on the engine power now. Why is there a velocity vector? Why do I see... There it is. Can it show up on my HUD? Why can't I see the velocity vector on the HUD? But I'm seeing it on the, on the data display. Wow, she doesn't want to get much higher than this. 5,000. That's all we got for power. Okay, that'll do for now. Put the nose down. Build up as much speed as we can. We'll trim it. Yeah, trim is going to be an interesting question. Maybe I should just reset it. Okay, so. Yeah, we're almost up to our 6,000 feet now. Oh, there's the velocity vector. Where was it before? Was it up in the sky? Is that the issue? Okay. Let's go fast. We're in a bit of a dive. 
those down. So 130 knots. We're getting up like around 140 is when the Huey wants to start rolling over. This guy just doesn't want to go faster. Still on a bit of a dive. And we still can't beat 135 knots, even though I'm not carrying anything other than fuel. Okay, what about in a steep dive? Go back this way. You're low. Your mother. Okay. 160. We're not flopped over yet. I am now stick full forward. I cannot put the nose down. And is it? It's not a trim thing. Let's reset the trim. Yeah. There's no trim right now. Center. And uh, that is stick full forward. And it won't let me go much more than 145. It's uh, oscillating, but that's mostly just because of the, how far I've got the stick pushed forward. It's making it hard to hold steady. You know, 150. Yeah. It's negative 2,500 foot per minute dive, 90% power, and we're only 150 knots. So yeah, just like I said, there's a whole extra 100 knots range there that you don't normally use. Okay, let's go up. And this time we'll try going straight down. And probably die. Oh, stop. orbit here and we'll do it over the runway. Oh, don't dive, climb. Makes some weird sounds all on its own. Okay. Back in land. What's the easiest way to get the nose straight down if it won't let me fly straight down? Roll on my side, maybe? Oh, it doesn't like that. Oh. Yeah. Full forward stick. 180. Yeah, it just refuses to over speed. Interesting. And what if I do this? So is your mother. 70. Same deal. That's cool. It felt like I needed the G meter there for a minute, so it popped it up on the HUD. If you can read it, you probably need it. Whoa! 
Oh boy. Well, somehow, we're alive. I'm surprised I couldn't get it faster than that, though. That was weird. Any uh, subject matter experts uh, care to comment on the accuracy of that? I don't know. I'm surprised to have learned that an Apache doesn't fly a whole lot faster than a Huey. I always assumed they were a bit more uber than that. Where'd the airfield go? I was going to land at. Oh, here we go. Oh! <laughs> Clunk. Sometimes I do not know where my wheels are in this thing. I tend to scrape the wheels against the tops of trees and buildings, too. At the moment, with its uh, non-existent damage model, it's pretty resilient to that. But obviously, you wouldn't want to do that in real life. That seems wrong. I can't seem to fire my countermeasures. I'm flying. Yep. The flares stick to the ground now and burn for a little while, which is awesome. The way they should. <laughs> That's cool. Wow, I actually got it to blow up. 